Today, Craig, Joe, and I took a little trip to the Amana Colonies. But don't worry, our regular format will be back when we're back from vacation in a couple of days. Well, Craig, what are we about to do? We're going to the Amana Colonies. Do you know what we're going to see there? German? Yeah, the Amana Colonies is a German colony, actually, an old German colony. And there are lots of shops and a lot, a lot of authentic food. Mm -hmm. And there's also museums and things that we can learn there. Yep. And what else is special about this day? It's Garfield's birthday. Yeah, what should we do to celebrate Garfield's birthday? Going to the Amanda Colony. First stop of our road trip today is Hardee's for breakfast. This Hardee's was very nice inside and the counter service was excellent. Here. Craig, what kind of a biscuit did you get? The omelet biscuit, boo-boo bear. <laughs> oh. I don't know how to talk like boo-boo. I mean, mama. <laughs> That's okay. Mm. What do you think? Tastes delicious. Way to start the day. And I, I got a biscuit with strawberry jelly because I'm not feeling so hungry this Craig, morning. Can you give us a review of Hardee's? Why, yes. Hardee's is the best burger place in town. The omelet biscuit tastes delicious. The waiter seems nice. I give it two thumbs up, five stars, and a cranky flavor, silver purple. So stopping at this come and go to get some gas. We've never been to this one, so maybe we have to go. We have to go to the front, Craig. We're going to stop in and see what it's like inside of there. It looks like a nice big convenience store. Of course, they have donuts, but I don't think we need any of those because we just had breakfast. Yeah, no jelly ones either. Yeah. They have a good selection of takeout things. Let's see if we find anything interesting in here, Craig. I'll find any interesting, right? Yeah. Cheese, it's groovies. I'm very fond of Mentos. My favorite flavor of Mentos is the cinnamon ones, but they're kind of hard to find. I think I'll get the mixed fruit. No man's jerky. This is a section for Joe. He likes jerky. That's kind of what he's hoping to find at the Amana Colonies because they have a place that makes different kinds of sausage several maybe it's always come and go they have this kind of like a specialty section I've seen these kind of chocolate bars at world market actually some zero sugar things over here and chocolate orange I love chocolate orange a selection of things you could order here. And we could have ate breakfast here. We're going to have to come here and order their pizza sometime and try it. Uh, a video I'd like to do with all the kids is to order breakfast pizza from every convenience store in our area and see which one has the best. That bacon cheeseburger pizza, that looks delicious. Craig, look at this bacon cheeseburger pizza they have. Maybe sometime we should order that. Yeah. Joe and I were just talking about these the other day. We used to love these when we were kids. I didn't know they still made them. The wacky wafers reminded me of these giant chewy tarts. What did you decide to take for your road trip snack? Tangy ketchup Doritos. Yeah, Craig really likes these tangy ketchup ones, don't you? Yep. You say, Craig? Remember we went to Newton? Yeah, what did we do there? Went to thrift stores. Mm-hmm. What else? Broad sales. Yes. And La Cabana. Yep. We used to go there all the time, didn't we? Yeah. We ate at Perkins once in a while. Yes, we did. There's a Perkins over there. When I was in high school, we used to go to Newton just to eat at Perkins sometimes, late at night. I have a Naramentos and Country Kitchen. And Country Kitchen, yeah. No road trip is complete without a stop at Casey's. And we need to use the restroom. For this trip is to find cinnamon candy. 
So far, the only thing cinnamon I found is mints. We'll keep trying. Joe is teasing me, showing me things that weren't really cinnamon. All Casey's must have donuts. They're kind of known for their donuts and their pizza. The jelly donuts. But they were. They were there. Craig and I spot a jelly donut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Found something to try for a video. These definitely sound yummy. I wish they had regular pizza ones. They also have some other flavors of Casey's brand chips, which I've never heard of Casey's having their own brand of chips. But we are also going to try these New Orleans style kettle chip ones too. We'll do a taste test when we're back home. And we're back on the road again. I thought you might enjoy some Iowa scenery. Iowa's not really flat like a lot of people think. It's more rolling hills. You'll see a lot of farm crops in the summertime. You'll see farmhouses, small towns. You can see the wind turbines in the distance. We don't have any of those close to where we live. I think they look majestic. We decided to go a little bit off the beaten path today so that we could pass through the small town of Lador, Iowa. Joe wanted to show me an old bank that was there. It at one time was a restaurant and Joe and his father and brother stopped there to eat. Unfortunately, that restaurant closed shortly after they ate there. But we're gonna take a little stop so that we can see the bank. This is the Ladora Savings Bank. Of course, it's not operational anymore. It's more of a landmark. Of a, it's just kind of a stop along the way. There's not much here. Okay. Manna Colonies. Manna Colonies. Yeah. 11, 11 miles. miles. We're going to actually go south just a little bit. I want to go over and see where our house is first. Our, house. our hotel. We're actually staying very close to the Amana Colonies in one of the, it's, it's called a colony, right? Where we're staying. Yeah, this is like a, a homestead. Yeah, it's like a borough. It's a bed and breakfast. It's called the Zubra's Homestead Hotel. It's a railroad bridge, but oh, it's got some modern stuff on it. They still use it. <laughs> there it is. Oh, something right next. Zubra's Hotel. This is where we're staying, Greg. Right? Stay right there. Very peaceful area. So this is where we're staying tonight. Zuber, zuber. So if you want to come and stay at a fun bed and breakfast, the Amanas is a great place to visit. Here's some beautiful good windy view. road, valley. We're on our way from where we'll be staying at the homestead to the Amana colonies itself. <laughs> Are you ready for lunch? Yes, sir. There's a Casey's, as in every other Iowa town. Yep. Even the Amanas. 
I feel like daily. every town has a Casey's and a Dollar General. Stepping out of our car and the first thing we see is Amazing Grace Antiques and Gifts. Looks like there's some homemade soap over there. Craig's pretty excited to be here. And he's thinking about lunch. There is the Ox Yoke Inn. We'll have to decide which place we want to have so lunch. One? Craig, do you want to go Kronberg or the Ox Yoke to eat? What's the Ox Yoke steam? Honestly, I'm not sure what the difference is between the two of them. I don't know. There'll be a few where you can eat. This one, you have turkey dinner? Oh, well, we can see. There's a bench up here. We can sit down. Yeah, maybe we'll sit down and see if we can find a menu, okay? This is the Christmas market. I'm going to be excited to go in there. And we're going to sit here and figure out which place we want to eat lunch at. Whoa. My first impression is, I think I'm going to like it here. It's very peaceful. And lots and lots of shops to look at. And we just walked to the mall. As you can see on down there, there's just people walking down the street. The next time, I think I'm probably going to want to come here again. They actually have their own hotels that you can stay in right in the Amana colonies and that's what I'd like to do the next time but I have a feeling you have to book pretty far out to do that. So we're just going to walk over and eat lunch across the street at the Ox Yoke Inn. It's beautiful in here. <laughs> Look around in this restaurant. It's very pretty. Here's the menu. Which you can also find this menu online. Here's some of their specialty dishes. This is what I'm going to have. I'm going to get the two-piece plated chicken dinner. What's that? That's the special today. It's chips with cheese sauce and bacon. I wonder what ox chips are. What are you going to get, Craig? The chicken tenders basket. Does that come with any sides? Does it come? It comes with fries and coleslaw. I don't even like coleslaw. Well, you don't have to eat the coleslaw. Yeah, just let them burn it. Don't you think? Yeah, or you can say no coleslaw so they don't waste it. Oh, okay. You want to try it? Um, and we are going to try this appetizer, the poutine fries. Today is Garfield's birthday. Yup. What can you tell us about Garfield? Happy birthday, Garfield. We're in the Amanda Colonies, Garfield. Uh, what year did Garfield start? 1978. And who created Garfield? Jim Davis. What are the characters on Garfield? John Buckle, Bodie the dog, Pookie the teddy bear, Arlene and Nermal. And who's your favorite character? Garfield. Can you think of any lines that Garfield says? I hate Mondays. <laughs> Who does the voice of Garfield in the... What's what's the new Garfield show called that you like? Frank Welker. Frank Welker. Back in 2009 when, he, when Garfield was on CGI. Mm. What's Garfield about? He was the star. He was fat, worn, striped, <laughs> lazy. Mm-hmm. And he eats fried pig down to go on diets. I ordered the soup of the day, which it's potato and sausage. It looks, man, that looks amazing. It's mostly sausage, that's great. I'm gonna have to taste a little bite of that. It's 
So really what do you good. think? That soup is amazing. I want to make that so good. Yeah, I don't even care it's got mushrooms in it. I saw the mushroom. Craig's eating the oyster crackers. He'd like the soup if he tried it. Here's our appetizer. We ordered the Jaeger fries. So Craig, what do you think of these Jaeger fries? Mmm. Well. Mmm, <laughs> tastes good. Food has arrived. Brown gravy is my favorite. Look at this wonderful roll. It reminds me of the rolls that my mom used to make. It has Craig's chicken strips. Those are the best kind. I like flat chicken strips. And Joe got the hot beef sandwich, which also looks amazing. Yeah, it's huge. It is huge. <laughs> Poutines and soup. Mm. Here's a look at our dinner. That roast beef is unbelievable. It's just straight slices off. But if you look at it, it just, mm -hmm. it just tears. It just tears right up. So they don't have to. They don't have to tear it up. Don't like have to shred it like they, they, they do. Shred it like a lot of places because it's not secondary meat. This is actually good. Just straight roast beef. This is good home cooking. Just like a meal my mom would have made. Craig, how are your chicken strips? Delicious. Good home cooking chicken strips? Mm-hmm. Craig wanted to try the banana cream pie. How's it taste, Craig? Craig, how's your pie taste? Tastes like banana pudding. Do you like it? Yeah, banana. <laughs> I chose to try the red raspberry pie, which is so good. It almost tastes like black raspberry to me. It's delicious. One of the best pies I've ever had. Craig, can you give us a review of the Ox Yolk Inn in the Amana Colonies? The Ox Yolk Inn in Amana Colonies is a wondrous place. The chicken tenders strips taste delicious. The wear seems nice. I give it two thumbs up, five stars, and a Craig A. Bamboo silver approval. All right, Craig, you ready to go into the Christmas store? Yeah. I love Christmas. I'm excited about this. Oh, beautiful in here. I'm definitely going to have to get an ornament. Hello. So beautiful. Sign of December again. No, this is Christmas all year round in here, Craig. Whoa. I love these guys. Just goes on and on. Be my dream store. I lost Craig in here somewhere. Oh, I just heard him. I like that. Yeah. It's so cool. This is the best Christmas store I've ever been in. Oh, I love this one. From Jim Henson Productions. Muppet Treasure Island. What were you talking about? I thought you were talking about. Are you in Christmas heaven? Yes. Bring a famous Muppet celebrating Christmas at Ma Farm's Ma's farmhouse. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. No, it's, it's Craig's. No, it's, it's adorable. adorable. Yeah. <laughs> okay, be careful. <laughs> no, I want the bananas. There's a little elf on the shelf. We have a lot of elves on our tree. One of our trees. This is where we're bringing our Christmas stuff. I think I could live here. 
Um, yes, this November we get out our Christmas stuff. So what are we doing in November after Thanksgiving? Stay home? Well, what are we doing in November after Thanksgiving? We're going to Universal Studios Florida. That's right, the first week in December. What are we going to see at Universal, Craig? Christmas stuff and Grinchmas? Yes, Grinchmas. I think we need this woodpecker ornament. This is what we need. I love this one. <laughs> That's okay. Very nice. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. I don't like Dora. She's annoying. She's a little gnat. Wanna get rid of it? I finally got my fill of the Christmas store. So now we'll check out the general store, which has many things to offer. Can you see it? Look at all this chocolate now. We should have waited before we bought ours. And some honey ornaments. How about this? Wow. They have some wow. okay. okay, I guess found some candles to smell. Have you yeah. found any good ones? Oh, what does it smell like, Craig? Victorian Christmas. Welcome home. I think those goats back there are adorable. Is that what those are? Honestly, these stores go on forever. So much. So much to see. So many food things that you could try. The beef goulash mix catches my eye. It's all of the different saltwater taffy. 10 cents each or 10 for a dollar. That's a much better price than I paid at Adventureland. Turkish taffy, it's wasn't. banana. They're together again. Those are quite interesting things. A slowpoke? Who remembers slowpokes? <laughs> so much shopping. If you like to shop, you should come here. Lots of great gift ideas. What does it smell like to you? Cabin scents. Kind of smells like... Um, evergreens. Unusual coffee flavors. Happy toadstools. There's a plushie with a smile. Yeah. I think it's Keisha that likes plushies with smiles. Have you ever heard of Jim McDonough, Craig? Yeah, he's the pianist. Oh. Really pretty mugs. Start 
cute. That's a cute one. Pink otter. Ding, 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 ding. Let's see how much it is. $60.95. I really do like it. Some more of those candles. What flavor is that? Victorian Christmas. Oh, you already smelled that one. You must like it. I love all of these flesh goats. They are adorable. Look at that yeah. one, Craig. They're so cute. Okay. Craig, what do you think of the Amana colony so far? It was Germany. It's Germany? <laughs> Are you enjoying it? Yep. I like all of these. I don't know why, but I like the mushroom toadstool decor. It's so cute. It's mushroom. Now I see. They're mushrooms. Merry mushrooms. That umbrella. Quince jelly. I've never heard of that before. Black cherry. This is great with cheese. I'm all about that. Rose hip fruit spread. I'm about to look these things up. Craig's finding all the Dachshunds. Or also known as wiener dogs. I think this is a big bucket of mustard. Alright, we're going to put some of our purchases in the car. Looks like a souvenir press penny machine. must say my thoughts at this point is everything is so well done all of the shops are so they have such great merchandise very good quality and i don't think the price is the prices are out of range for what they are i remember having lots of these on our tree growing up <clears throat> this is cute but mostly i remember these kind specifically this one. No, that's not that one. Well, it, this movie reminds me of this Santa reminds me of a movie we watched, where the Santas all turn around and they're naked and show their butts. <laughs> oh, it's a scary Christmas movie uh, with subtitles. There's one on Prime right now. It's called Violent Night. That has Hop, Hopper. It does not from, look happy. Hopper from Stranger Things is Santa. Oh yeah. <laughs> And those are cool too. Mm -hmm. Look at these candles. Ooh. Sniffing. Mm -hmm. Please use a glove when handling. <laughs> yeah, they want soap. you to put your hand in one of those bags if you're going to pick the soap up. I can't do this. Okay, you can just smell the jar, okay? These <laughs> smell wonderful. And they are five dollars each or six for twenty fabrics. Joe had to leave because he didn't like the smell. Um I got it from Amanda Kratzky. It's cute. Reminds me of something my mom would have made. Trying some lotion. How's it smell? I tried lavender. It smells nice. What, is it, what does it smell like, Craig? Do you like it? Yeah. It's actually, where we wanted to stay, but they were all booked up. There's actually a for sale sign if anyone's wanting to open up a bed and breakfast in the Amana colonies. Over here we have the Kateri's Art Oasis. It has original art, jewelry, glass tartary. <laughs> and here it says, Papa Carey. Joe made an executive decision to head to the popcorn and ice cream. <laughs> Looks like this is where my dad would have went. Gemstones, jewelry, fossils, minerals. Yes, he would have. <laughs> Craig says ice cream. Oh, nice. 
<laughs> I think Craig's excited about the ice cream. What flavors do you see? Strawberry, chocolate, vanilla, coffee Oreo, or pecan, cookies and cream, cookie dough, salted car caramel. What kind are you gonna choose? Vanilla bean. Yeah. Is that what you're gonna choose? Vanilla bean? What about cookie dough? You can, salted you can get whatever kind you want. How about salted caramel? Okay. I'm gonna look red hot cinnamon popcorn. We know what I'm getting. Oh man, look at that. I know it smells like heaven in here. I have like chocolate added, Reese's pieces, Charlie Brown's caramel peanut. Oh, no problem. We're not in a hurry. Yeah, I can't wait for the salted caramel, Mama. I don't think I want that. Or maybe the vanilla bean. But Bennett might be interested in that. He likes really hot stuff. Dr. Pepper. Okay, Craig, how's that ice cream tasting? Good. What kind did you get? Vanilla bean. Is it better than regular vanilla ice cream? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The bakery and coffee cafe, which we'll go inside once Craig finishes his ice cream. This is the bakery and coffee. They have sandwiches. It smells amazing in here. I mean, you should come just for this, probably. My word. <laughs> yeah, my word is right. Look at all of this, Craig. It smells so good. Caramel. Apple delights. Wow, look at all these wonderful breads. This is cinnamon twist bread. Things to try at the bakery here. I decided to try their giant Dutch letter. Now, I've grown up eating Dutch letters because we lived about 20 miles from Pella, the Dutch letter capital of the world, probably. <laughs> They always have, they have a couple of authentic Dutch bakeries there. And people line up around the block to get them at tulip time. And Joe got a cherry strudel. No, that's not a cherry strudel. You got a lemon bar. A cherry turnover. Cherry rhubarb turnover. Okay, Joe got a cherry rhubarb. And how is it? It's good. Craig, do you want to try the Dutch letter? Yeah. Have you ever had a Dutch letter before? No, I didn't. I don't think so. Dutch letters are a flaky pastry with a, an almond filling inside. And if they're made right, they are delicious. They taste stupendous. <laughs> Got you on the wrong side. There we go. What do you think of that strawberry mm. rhubarb turnover? It's good. Craig's trying a bite of the lemon bar. He's glad for a break to watch his phone for a little bit, I think. Mm. He's lemony fresh. So out of these three things, the Dutch letter, the lemon bar, and the cherry, the cherry rhubarb strudel. strudel, which one do you like the best? The lemon bar. Oh. The lemon bar. I haven't tasted the lemon bar, but I think the strudel's better than the Dutch letter. The Dutch letter is just a little too much of the puffy pastry and not enough almond. Craig and Dad taking a rest while I was shopping. I'm plotting. plotting what to do to keep me from shopping. <laughs> So Joe and Craig are back in the room. Craig needed a little nap. He's had kind of a long day and we sprung it on him that we want to stay another night. So that was a whole nother thing that he has to take in and digest, but he wants to. He just, he had had made other plans the Wednesday that we were going to go see the new Disney movie 
and we'll have to move that to Saturday, which is no big deal, but Craig just needs a little bit of time to take a nap and <laughs> collect his thoughts, I guess. Um, but he really was okay with it. He just was really taken aback by it. But we made arrangements for Bennett and Haley to stay with the pets, and we're gonna spend another night so we can see more of the Amana colonies. And we'll see you later, and I hope that we'll be able to upload our video tonight. I'm not sure about the Wi-Fi here, but we are going to give it a try.